Hi, in this video we're going to be looking at nested if statements in JavaScript. In the previous video we we're looking at how to use if statements to uh, check conditions and to run code, um, instructions in code, when a tested condition evaluates to true. All right, and we looked at using these different comparison operators in our condition testing to check if two things are the same or if um, two things are not equal or if um, one thing is greater than the other or less than the other. So we looked at different types of comparisons that we could make uh, in the conditions that we write in our if statements. And we looked at also how to use else ifs to um, check other conditions if the ones before them aren't true and uh, also how to use else if none of the conditions specified evaluate to true. All right, in this uh, video, we're gonna look at how to nest if statements. So nested if statements are when you um, write if statements within another if statement. All right, so for example, you could check, and in this, this example, we're checking how much a customer has spent and then how much they should pay for shipping based on how much they've spent. So for example, you could firstly check, have they spent more than $20? Then you could check, uh, have they spent more than 50? And then you could check if they spent more than 100. And if they spent more than 100, you can apply free shipping. And you could put that those uh, if statements, checking those different amounts inside each other. All right, so let's have a look at, at how to actually do that. And we'll rewrite this code that we've got here. We've got these different rates. We've got um, spend $100 or more, you get free shipping. Spend $50 or more, you get $5 shipping. $20 or more, it's discounted to $750, and uh, otherwise, if you spent less than $20, it's $10 for the full shipping rate. All right, so let's delete this code, and we've got our variable here that specifies how much the customer spent. So let's now check within if statement if the spend amount is greater than or equal to 20. All right, now in here, we can apply a discounted shipping rate. Uh, and in here, we can say, well, if they haven't spent $20 or more, then they've paid the normal shipping. So in the else, we can say um, shipping is $10. All right. And in the if block here, if the spend amount is $20 or greater, well, this is, oops, just put that in the right order. This here is where we can then um, check, well, have they spent more than $50? And if they've spent more than $50, so you can then check, well, have they spent more than 100? All right, so here what we can do is then inside this if statement here is write another if statement. So we can say if spend is greater than or equal to 50. Okay, and then here we could even write another if statement, uh, but if they haven't spent $50 or more, then we can add an else uh, and we can give them the shipping rate that applies for if they spent between um, 20 and 50 dollars all right which was seven dollars fifty so we can say discounted shipping is uh 750 okay and in this if block here where we've checked if they spent more than 50 dollars we can then check well have they spent a hundred dollars or more so we can add another if statement and check if spend is greater than or equal to 100. Then we'll give them uh, the free shipping. And uh, we can say shipping is free. But if they haven't spent more than, if they didn't, haven't spent $100 or more, but they have spent $50 or more, then we can have an else and we can give them $5 shipping instead. Okay, so these are, oops, these are examples of nested if statements. We've got an if statement here, which I've got highlighted now, and that firstly checks if the customer spent $20 or more. All right, if they haven't, then none of this code here will run. And it will go down to the else here, and this code here will run instead. So it will say shipping is $10 if they haven't spent $20 or more. If they have spent $20 or more, uh, the program will then check this condition here. Have they spent $50 or more? 
If they haven't spent $50 or more, then it will run this else block here and give them discounted shipping of $7.50. So that means they've spent um, $20 or more, but they haven't spent over um, $49. All right. Now in this if statement here, if they've spent $50 or more, it's then going to check this condition here. Have they spent $100 or more? If so, shipping is free. Else, uh, otherwise, if they haven't spent $100 or more, then shipping is $5. All right, so these, these are examples of nested if statements where we have if statements within other if statements and then possibly within other if statements. All right, you can have as many if statements as you like within other if statements. Um, and that's one way of writing code. In the previous example, we looked at how to use ifs and else ifs and elses. Uh, and this is another way of writing the code where we can nest the if statements uh, and the different conditions will be checked um, based on uh, whether the one before it was um, true or not. Okay, so that's just another way of um, testing different conditions. All right, so let's now go and test this code out. And first, we're going to um, make the spend amount $10. All right, and we refresh the page. It says shipping is $10. All right, now we'll change it to 30. Okay, so it ran this else block here because this condition here was false. So now that this spend amount is 30, this should be true. So this if block is going to run. All right. Um, but then it's going to check this, which should be false. So I haven't spent greater than or equal to $50. So we should see discounted shipping is $750, which we do. Uh, now let's change it to spend amount to 60, which means that this will be true. This spent more than 20. And this will be true because they spent more than 50. But this won't be true because they haven't spent more than 100. So we should see discounted shipping is $5. Yeah, and then lastly, let's say they spent $120. We see shipping is free because this is true, this is true, and this is true. So that means this code here is going to run. All right, um, that is how to write nested if statements in JavaScript. In the next video, we're going to be looking at how to use uh, logical operators, uh, which can be used to check if uh, more, multiple conditions um meet a certain criteria or if um, more than one thing might be true at once or if one thing is true but another thing is not true. So we'll look at uh, how to do that. Thanks for watching.